Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to my most expensive deck profile ever. Uh, this is going to be my print kits deck profile for the, I guess this, this would be March, uh, close to like April. Uh, but yeah, this is adventure format, as you can tell. Uh, but yeah, this this is like a super insane deck. This is 60 cards. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about this deck and the format and uh, what I think about it. So uh, yeah, we have uh, three copies of Dropsies, three copies of Lampsies. I want to talk about these two specifically before we get to the others, uh, because these are the best ones to open. Uh, by far. Um, and basically what I mean by this is like you don't really want to open fanzies because like it's kind of like the bridge in between uh, going into doodles so that you can kind of chain block and like uh, if you get stopped there it depends on where you get stopped and how you get stopped uh, is how you continue your combo. So uh, that's the really the most important part about the fanzies uh, whereas dropping these two is like the first ones are the first ones to get you into the fanzies initially. Uh, so I think that these two are the best ones to start with i prefer starting with dropsies but lampsies is also just really good to like also have uh, because of the burn damage um but yeah uh then moving on we have the three copies of fanzies that i was just talking about uh you don't really want to see him in your opening hand but he, he's fine uh also two copies of roxy's and uh yeah roxy's is probably the worst one to start with because if you get lancia on the roxy's normal summon your turn kind of just ends um, and it also requires you to have a card in hand uh which is fine like sometimes you can like trade out bricks in your hand and like that's like really good and the roxy's is really nice for that but uh it's just like whatever like you know one time i searched this for a follow-up and uh then i was able to like set the cards in my hand for like the celestial draw and then i just got hit with an ash on it and so my roxy's was completely dead so uh i'm never going to be searching roxy's as a follow-up again because that was really really rough uh then moving on into print kids like uh, more consistency i guess uh three place and then one terraforming uh, so there should be, I believe, 15 names, which is just enough to have like an 80% chance of opening one, which is exactly what you want. Um, so yeah, you just want one one name in hand. If you have multiples, it's like fine, but like ideally just one name is like the ideal perfect number. Uh, the three copies of Thunder Dragon Fusion, Pandemonium, and Pranks. Uh, Thunder Dragon Fusion was really great to draw. These other ones are, like, not so much. You'd rather just search them. Um, but yeah, not much to say about those. Thunder Dragon Fusion was, like, insane all day. I love the card. It's so good. Uh, next we have the Water Enchantress Engine. This is, like, where we start to get into the expensive cards. Everything before was pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure even, like, place... Even though it's secret, it might be, like, worth, like, 10 bucks or something. I don't remember. Uh, but it's, like, relatively cheap, especially because you can get other copies but yeah uh water enchantress shout out to collector rare it looks really sick uh this one's not but you know uh this deck is so expensive it's great i love it <laughs> uh these cards are broken not like they're just insane i guess to go along with it we have the one foolish uh to send the water enchantress uh but yeah they're they are just like the most broken cards of the format hands down nothing else to say about that really like they're just so good uh three right Cards are insane. Uh, then we also have two copies of Fateful Adventure. So the two Fateful is a little bit weird. Um, the reason we're playing it is because it really helps your grind game. Because a lot of times your adventure engine gets stopped. So it really sucks. Uh, so it's like a really good way to like continue playing the next turn with your right. Um, but it, it's like... I don't know. It's Obviously it's like... It's really good to draw too. Because like if you have this plus a print kid you can play through Ash... Um, which is really good. And then you also get a search for an extender, which you can use on the next turn to follow up. So, uh, yeah, cards actually really nice. Next, we have a uh, Wander Griffin Rider and a Draco back. Uh, the two bricks opening them opening this one's like fine to Draco back, not so much. Sometimes you can use it with the token to bound something, but like that rarely comes up. Uh, but you can a lot of times even just put it back in your deck because we're playing uh, two souls and then the two copies of Illusion Magician, or sorry, Illusion of Chaos. Uh, so you can like uh, get this card and then you can send your Draco back to the like 
top of your deck and then you can like keep playing so like this putting back bricks is like insane uh although you won't be able to like use it that turn you can use it the next turn which is actually really good you have pretty decent follow-up so uh i love the souls package it was so broken uh to go along that with that we have the one copy of prep to search the illusion which uh, i was honestly thinking of just playing the three illusion of chaos um, because there was a couple times where I wanted the third one, so I might be doing that at some point. Uh, the, uh, Fusion Destiny package, nothing to say about these, this, like, it's insane. It's really good, it's a Fusion Destiny, so broken. Uh, yeah. Best card in the deck is up next, this is three copies of Small World. Card is so broken. Uh, if you ha don't have a prank kid, you search a prank kid. If you have a prank kid, you search water enchantress. And if you have a prank kid and water enchantress, you search for souls. And if you have all three of them, you probably have an extra. So you can use your small world to like send another prank kid. And then you can get a hand trap. Like there's just so much utility with this card. Like it was always live in my hand. Uh, so this card is like actually insane. Uh, there was one time I drew double ogre. So I used my ogre. Uh, I believe I sent Droll, and then I sent or searched Ash. So I had a Ash Ogre for the follow-up. Uh, so it's just actually, like, such a broken card. It was so good uh, the entire day. So uh, shout-outs to Small World. Cards broken. Uh, next, we have the Hand Traps. So we have the three copies of Ultimate Rare Nibiru. Uh, shout-outs to Josh. Uh, three copies, or sorry, well, I guess it's three copies of Infinite Impermanence, but two of them are Ultimate Rare. Uh, couldn't find the third one to finish the set, but it's all right. Uh, then we have the three copies of Valor and the three copies of Droll. Uh, that's not it for Hand Traps. This is just like the uh, m some of the main ones, I guess. Um, but yeah, these cards are all pretty good. Droll is actually really nice against the Adventure Engine. Um, the only thing it doesn't stop is Fateful being able to quit from deck, which I actually learned during the tournament, which is pretty cool um yeah yeah pretty busted uh the last last hand traps we have are three copies of ghost ogre and uh, three copies of ash and then we also have the one copy of ghost bell uh the reason we're playing the single ghost bell is because uh sometimes it's a certain bridge that you can get from like hand traps into roxies uh which can be pretty important like to start your adventure line uh that's about it i believe like that's like the only like bridge that like really matters um or you can go like roxy's into bell into like souls i think so like i don't know i i went through all my my uh my lines earlier but i don't remember the, all of them off the top of my head so uh yeah uh but yeah you just bridge uh small world cards like the small world bridges are like just your hand traps and you can usually figure it out uh usually uh, throughout the tournament but like uh the valor and the droll are kind of the worst ones because um they share a lot of stats with like fanzies which means you can't search fanzies which really sucks uh you can search them in a, c a couple other ways but um yeah it just it's just kind of sucks uh for extra deck we have the two copies of battle butler and the one copy of weather washer weather washer came up once and um pretty good nothing really to say about that he was just a really good card uh then we also have the destroyer phoenix enforcer the card is actually like a really really good card but uh i honestly hate it because <laughs> uh when you're in like a dpe like both your you and your opponent have dpe it's just really annoying and like the game never ends there was a like one duel that lasted like probably had to have been like 20 turns because we just kept summoning dpe back and forth and back and forth and it was just so annoying um we just kept hitting the right cards with dpe and like there was just nothing the other person could do so it was just really annoying the whole time uh then we have all of the prank kids stuff uh or i guess uh, the link ones uh so link spider link karibo meow uh honestly i wish that the link karibo was a link spider um, it would have actually been really good if it was, uh, because there's, like, a line where, uh, you can just, like, play your print kid stuff, especially if you have Fateful, uh, just Fateful, and then you search the right off of the Fateful, like, you search Water Enchantress, send it, send, uh, search right, uh, you have right for follow-up for the next turn. Uh, and then you do your prank kid line, and if you get Nibiru, you can use your token to, for a Link Spider. You can activate your right to get a token, and you can use that token for a Link Spider, and then you make Verte. Uh, so you can do that because 
like the venture tokens a level four so you can't make link karibo and the nibiru tokens level 11 so that's not gonna happen either uh yeah so yeah that's probably why i'd play two link spider and then we have the two copies of doodle and the one copy of bow wow bark uh which are pretty insane cards uh, i think my i don't know if my recording just messed up there but if it did i'm sorry um yeah so nothing easy about those those cards are insane you don't need the three doodle you two is just fine uh, next, we play the one copy of Dark, which came up in testing, but uh, never during the actual regional that I played in. Um, so it, it's it's pretty good. I mean, you can target like Verte, and then like you can use their Verte to do something. You can also target uh, even just any like Link to Dark, and then like link it off with this into Access Code, uh, which is pretty decent. You have a forty three hundred attack monster. Um, yeah, two copies of Verte uh yeah the card's insane uh especially because you have two targets you have the thunder dragon fusion and the fusion destiny uh and a lot of times my first verte got stopped somehow um so going into the second one is just insane especially because you can use verte for verte so if this gets veilered you can just use any other body and make verte uh which actually didn't come up but like it would have been insane if it did just to use anything plus verte and make a second verte and then like what do they do like you just like summon again it's just so funny uh yeah uh one copy of uh nightmare unicorn cards like just also insane uh being able to like shuffle cards back you could target like dpe especially after they use the effect is really nice uh super cool and then the one copy of access go talker which is the last card in the deck or in the extra deck at least um yeah that's about it moving on into the side deck we have the three copies of Starlight Lightning Storm. I guess I'll show you this on camera. It looks beautiful. Um, but yeah, uh, card's pretty good. Uh, I sighted it once, saw it. It was really nice. And, or maybe I sighted it multiple times. But I know the one time that I saw it was really good. So um, figured that I would mention that. Uh, pretty good. And then the three copies of Evenly Matched, uh, also to kind of go along with it. Uh, I played against Eldritch, and I played against... Oh, there was another deck that I played against. I think it was Flunderese. Uh, and I went, like, Evenly... I had Evenly Lightning Storm against the Flunderese player. And so he had to banish everything, and then I Lightning Stormed his monster, which was M-Pen. Uh, which was really funny. So drawing those two cards was just, like, GG's. Uh, it was really good. I also saw Evenly versus Eldritch, and that was just a blowout also. So, uh, yeah... Uh, shoutouts to back row removal, basically. This, these cards are also just, like, insane. I just wanted, like, really high impact cards. I know I could, like, side in, like, Twin Twisters, uh, especially against, like, the mirror match, but I didn't play any mirrors, and, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I think that Twin Twister is unnecessary this format, um, and I, I don't want to play Cosmic, because it plays harder into Lancia, um, so, yeah. We have the three copies of Ultimate Rare Forbidden Droplets. Uh, I will mention here, uh, usually I, you can't see because my camera's a pretty bad quality, but I'm using my phone this time. Uh, it doesn't have a Quick Play logo, uh, so this is a misprint. Uh, I think that there's another one. This one isn't, so this one's for reference. Uh, this one does have the Quick Play logo. Uh, this one doesn't, so that's the difference. It's pretty sick. Um, I'm looking for a third one, which I'm probably going to get locally, but uh, if you have one and you want to give me a deal, hit me up. Uh, yeah. Moving on, we have the three copies of Crossout Designator, um, which is also pretty insane, but sometimes you can just, like, side out, like, uh, hand traps like Nibiru, uh, something that's, like, not going to be used, really, when going first uh, for this card, and then you can play through hand traps yourself, so... Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking with this. I never saw this card, so I don't know if it's actually good. I'm assuming it would be pretty good because we play all of the hand traps. So, uh, yeah, I've never activated a cross out designator, which is funny. Um, next we have, uh, three copies of Lancia as the last card and the last hand trap for the deck, which is, uh, pretty insane. Um, cards, like, really good against the matchups, that's really good, like, it can just be, like, a pass in certain scenarios, so, like, shoutouts to Lancia, it's a really nice card. That's gonna do it, I think, for the entire deck. Um, let's talk about 60 cards. Um, first and foremost, uh, I'm not gonna be playing 60 cards ever again, and I just ruined my camera. Uh, sorry, it's just chilling on a tripod, so that was my bad. Um, anyways, uh, I'm never playing 60 cards again because I hate it. 
Um, not for any, like, mathematical reason, but rather for, like, logistical reasons. Like, if you, if you look at this, this is huge. Like, you, it's so hard to hold these cards, uh, and shuffling them is even worse. Uh, going through them to find, like, whatever card you need to find takes forever. Especially if it's a one of and you pass it, like, four times. So, like, I hate 60 cards. Um, I probably won't be playing it again unless if it's, like, online because I don't want to deal with those problems. And, uh, another problem that I actually had to come up with, like, logistically for this event is that I can't fit this in my deck box. Um, granted, this is double-sleeved, uh, which I really wanted to do because these cards are expensive and I don't want to hurt them. So, um, I had to double-sleeve my cards, which made it even thicker, uh, which was a really big problem. Especially because I had to go find a deck box, because uh, this standard, this is the usual deck box I use. This will not fit. Like, uh, you might be able to fit all 60 cards, but you're not going to be able to fit your side and your extra either. So, like, this is, a like, a, an amazing deck box, and I love, like, having this, like, this, like, tray holder to, like, have all your dice and stuff. But, like, I can't do that. <laughs> so, I had to settle with something that uh, I was able to find and make a pretty decent compromise, which is, like, one of these little Ultra Pro deck boxes. Um, and these have two slots for deck boxes. Um, and I was able to fit uh, your entire my entire main deck in here which is pretty decent i'll do it it's a little harder to do it on the camera so i'm gonna do it off camera really quick yeah so it fits like perfectly like literally perfectly that's 60 cards in there uh and that that fits my uh main deck and then in here i would fit in my dice uh and i would put my extra on my side um and it fit pretty well this was like the best compromise i could have but it's just so annoying to have these dice in the deck box and to play like have two deck boxes um and then they fit into here um so this was the best compromise i could find for playing 60 cards but like i'm never doing this again this was a terrible choice like this this is so bad so um I guess shoutouts to Ultra Pro for actually having a solution to this that's, like, decent. Everything else was really bad, uh, so this was the next best solution that I, like, could find for it. Um, as, uh, at least at the venue. Maybe maybe there's one that I'm completely unaware of, but, like, this was the best solution I had to it. But, uh, yeah, I am also probably never going to play the Adventure Engine again. I wanted to play it for one event because I thought that it was really cool. I had all the cards, and I had Souls, and I wanted to play DPE, and I wanted to play, like, just, like, a good deck. So that's why I settled on this deck because... Uh, not because I wanted to play Prank Kids, but because I wanted to play Souls, DPE, and uh, Adventure cards all in the same deck. So uh, that's why I ended up playing Prank Kids, because it did all of that. Um... Honestly, I, I did pretty decent in the tournament, if you're wondering. Um, I actually, the this format, I feel like we need a lot longer of time to play in this format because it's super grindy, um, and I'm pretty bad at knowing when to scoop, especially when I can see that there's a possibility for me to win. Uh, so a lot of the times, I'll just keep playing the game, uh, which really sucks because like I should have definitely scooped so many times. Uh, throughout the tournament where my games literally like a game lasted 30 minutes um so i really really love this format it's just that it's super long and we don't have enough time uh, i ended up having three draws um technically technically speaking i actually only had two draws uh but the last draw that i had the last round um i just gave my opponent the win because i was just gonna drop anyways so i just gave him the win um so uh yeah i didn't like i did it like before like here the best way to explain this is uh we were in main phase i was at seven thousand life he was at 75 so he's higher on life but i had a pandemonium set and i could have used it to like uh summon butler and gain a thousand with dropsies burn him for five and then th that was like time that would have been time called but then i realized like oh i would have just like won there so at that point i just said hey man uh i'm not gonna use my pandemonium you got the game ggs and i just gave him the win there um so th that's what i mean by that i don't mean like we like finished the game and i was like i'm giving you the win no like i i literally had a way to get a draw uh but i gave him the win anyways just for clarification if you guys were curious um anyways that's about it i wish we had more time this format to play in these events because like i don't know it, it, it just it's super grindy and this format's really fun uh for that reason but like 
I also just hate it. Like, I sh I'm just going to go back to Drytron because uh, it's not 60 cards and also, like, I don't know, this was a nightmare. Uh, and also the games last a little bit less longer when you play, like, d like non-DPE, like, adventurer cards. Um, anyways, I'm, that's about it. That's, that's all I have really to say about this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.